going to be showing you what I am packing for a two day trip. This probably seems like a whole lot of stuff for two days but I do have two really young kids and they get dirty quickly and they do go through changes of clothing, changes of clothing quite quickly too. So I feel like I need to always get extra stuff even though I might probably bring these things home unworn but I would rather pack more than not enough. So we're just going to go for an overnight stay but we're going to We'll be there early morning and then we probably won't leave until afternoon-ish the next day. And they're going to be going to some like play centers. Um, so they're going to be hot and sweaty and running around. So they need com comfortable clothing um, but cute clothing as well because we're going away. So I'm going to show you Christopher's um, things that I'm going to pack for him first. I've got the kids running around in the background so if you hear some noise um, that is them. It's Adriana. Out of the way, Baba. Um, so, <clears throat> I'll start actually up here. So, these are the shoes that he's going to be wearing in the car. So, as soon as they wake up, we're going to be dressing them and getting out of the house. So, I've got their shoes ready. This is his outfit for the car ride. So, it's just this long sleeve shirt here. And I should mention that it is um, spring here in Australia. But it's only just hit spring, so it's not quite warm yet. So I am bringing a long sleeve shirt for him. And this is like a hoodie. Um, but it's quite thin material, so he won't be too hot. And, and then these little tracksuit sweats. Or sweatpants here. Um, so that will be his um, car outfit. So I'm just going to put that aside. So these are his clothes to wear um, either to change into after the play center or the next day. So I did bring two different shirts um, in case he does need them. So this is just a black and gray long sleeve um, like so. And this is another long sleeve tee, a little monster print on the front. So to go with these, I've just packed another pair of just some navy sweatpants. So that's them there, just plain blue. And then these are kind of like jeggings. They look like jeans, but they're super soft. Um, and they've got like a tie waist. I really like these. They're super comfortable and they're quite thick too. We're meant to be getting some cold weather this weekend. So I did pack warm clothing. So they're the pants to go with the shirts. Um, again, he probably won't go through two of these, but I've just bought them in case. So that's that. I've got a spare pair of shoes, you know, just in case. He does have those blue ones that I showed before, but I've brought these ones too. And these are a bit more stylish. So we, if we do end up going out somewhere else, like for dinner, then he can wear these ones um, for dinner. So they'll be nice. And it goes with these outfits because black goes with everything. And I've just packed a extra hoodie, really warm hoodie for both kids. This is the one for Christopher, just in case it gets really cold and they need an extra cover. Um, so I've got this little hoodie for him. And then over here are his pyjamas to wear for the overnight stay. And this is just an undershirt and he has his singlet up here as well. So I should put that together. So this is for bedtime after he has a shower and he can put these on. These are just some big boy underwear that I brought and some socks. Yes, there is way too many socks, but like I said, they're going to a play center and they're going to get dirty and grubby. So I don't want him wearing the same socks around and he needs an extra pair for after a shower and then the next day as well. And then there's an extra pair there just in case. So that's his socks. And then up here, I've just packed a beanie in case it's cold in the morning um, because it's meant to be raining as well in the morning. So just in case it's too cold, I've just packed a beanie and this will probably go in my handbag or not in my handbag, in my um, diaper bag or nappy bag. And then I've packed him some slippers because where we're going, there's going to be tiles. We're going to visit some family um, and they've got a tiled house. So it does get quite cold. So I've just brought him some sli slippers to wear while we're there. And just a couple of jackets, a nice denim one and like a blue um, silky. Sorry. And this blue kind of like baseball style 
jacket here to wear. And over here I've got both of the kids' toothbrushes. This is just like a personalized pencil case, but I use it for everything. So in here I've got their um, toothbrushes, let's say Gianna's and Christopher's. And then in here I've got, if I can open it, sorry it's, it's a bit dirty here because I keep toothpaste in this section and sometimes it spills. So in here I've got Christopher's hairbrush and I've got their toothpaste that they like to use. This is the one they like to use because it's not too minty. And I should actually pack in their Adriana's little hair clips and ties. I know this is way too much guys but I just pack extra. That's just what I do. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Just her extra bows and elastics for her hair. So I'm going to put that in there as well. Um, in addition to her little hairbrush and comb so I can do her hair in the morning. So that will all hop into that bag. This is the bag we're going to be using for the kids. <clears throat> This was my hospital bag when I gave birth to Adriana. Really like it, super roomy and will be plenty for the kids. Um, I could probably put some of my stuff in here as well. Um, so that's the bag we're going to be using. I'm also going to bring their nice soft blankets. This one's Christopher, so it's just a grey one. And Adriana's is up here. So this is Adriana's soft warm blanket that she's going to sleep with for the overnight stay. So going down to Adriana's things, I'll go down to what she's going to be wearing in the car in the morning. So she's just going to be wearing these little leggings. So just something super comfortable but cute as well because we are going to be going out. And this long sleeve unicorn pink and purple shirt like that. And I'm probably going to just put some joggers on her again just so she's comfy. These are just her sketches. <coughs> And I haven't decided exactly if I'm going to change her when we get there. It just depends. She might get grubby in the car. And she may get these dirty. So she may need a, um, a change of outfit. But if she does, then I've packed this little cute overall um, style shorts. I'm going to put some like grey tights or stockings underneath these so she's not cold. But like I said, we're going to a place in her. So they run around, they get hot. So um, she doesn't need anything too warm when she's doing that. Um, but I love putting layers. I love layering up little short overalls. I think it's super cute. So I did bring this just in case I want to change her into this when we go to the play center and just this red long sleeve plain shirt to go underneath. So that's just like an extra one in case I want to change her clothes. And I did bring her some boots. Again, I've got Christopher... I've got Christopher's spare pair of shoes as well in case we go out for dinner that evening so these are a little bit more dressier. These are quite bunged up because she's worn these to death these fall and winter. Um, so, And that's fine because like I said we are in spring now so she's had a good wear out of these. And as spare clothes and clothes for the next day um, I've just packed her this long sleeve blue shirt I love these little ruffle sleeves and just some pink leggings. And like I said, I did pack both kids a little hoodie. This is the one Adriana's going to bring. Um, so it's just this little rainbow one, again with the hood. And I'm just going to bring her an extra long sleeve shirt because I know she's going to get grubby and she does need <laughs> several clothing, <clears throat> several changes throughout the day. Um, especially when we're out and a bunch is running around and so I'm going to bring this just in case. If I don't use it, that's fine. It's only small and light so it's not going to take up too much room in the bag. So that's there if I need it. And just a little bit of accessories and I guess her pyjamas. Sorry for the shadow. I'm filming this at night so I can get these bags packed and ready. Um, so that's why I'm filming at night because we're leaving in the morning. Um, but these are her pyjamas that she's going to be wearing. This is just a long sleeve zip up onesie. And I've just brought like an undershirt for her to wear with that because it gets cold at night. And an extra like singlet as well. So that's her pyjama set. 
and then I always put um, a pair of socks um, on her because I don't know if these ones have footies or not so I always bring an extra pair of socks I have her beanie as well just like Christopher in case it gets cold in the morning and we need to put this on her head just to keep her warm and then a bunch of extra socks because like I said we're going to play centre you've heard this a million times in this video I'm sorry that's my explanation for bringing so many extra things because kids get grubby and they need change of clothing and socks is a must and these are Adriana's little slippers that she's going to wear. Like I said, we're going to a place that is a child home. So it gets quite cold inside on colder days. Um, and it's meant to be quite cold this weekend. So they're her slippers. And she has a bunch of jackets, a nice warm, big, windproof jacket, um, a denim jacket, and just a cardigan as well. There she is here. She's really tired. I need to put her to bed. Um, and a little cardigan here. So that is everything that I'm packing for an overnight stay for two kids under four. So Christopher's four, Adriana is almost two. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.